Hi, this is Lisa, and in this Access video, we're going to talk about what makes a relational database a relational database. The term relational comes from the fact that if you have more than one table, they need to be related together in order to share information. In this case, we have eight tables that all have to be linked to one another in some manner in order for the information to be shared. In other words, for a customer to know what orders it's related to or in order to know what products are on the order. The way the tables are connected is found on the Database Tools tab, the Relationships button, which opens a Relationships screen. This is your blueprint for how each of those eight tables is related to the rest. So let's just choose one relationship. Let's talk about the Customers table and how it's related to the Orders table, because once we understand one relationship, all the rest come a lot easier. So I'm going to focus in just on this one relationship here between the customers table and the orders table. When you're relating two tables together, one of the tables will be on the one side and the other table will be on the many side. That's called a one to many relationship. And the infinity symbol is used to represent the many side of the one to many relationship between customers and orders. And it makes sense too. One customer can have many orders. Well, at least we hope so over time. So it would be said that the customers and orders tables are related in a one-to-many relationship. But exactly how is that relationship made? Well, the key is right here. The relationship, the connection between two tables is made through a common field. Now that field does not have to be named the same thing in both tables. Uh, customer ID and customer ID, but oftentimes it is just to make the linking field uh, very obvious to uh, anyone using the database. In the customers table, notice that the customer ID field is identified with a key symbol. That represents the primary key field. Let's open up the customers table in datasheet view by double clicking it, and you'll see that this customer ID field is a, the primary key field for every record and contains unique information for every record. So even if we have two companies that are named very similarly, they would have to have a different unique customer ID field given that on the relationship screen I can tell that the customer ID field has been designated as the primary key field because of the key symbol here. But that key symbol and the primary key field in the customers table is very important because the primary key field always sits on the one side of a one-to-many relationship. Notice that the key field is always on the one side of a one-to-many relationship. Always and forever will you see the key on the one side of the relationship. The field on the many or infinity side of the relationship is never the primary key field. But just to keep things interesting, Microsoft has decided to name that the foreign key field. Actually, that's a database term. So customer ID in the orders table would be called the foreign key field, and customer ID in the customers table would be called the primary key field. So that is the glue that ties two tables together. The glue is a common field, and it's always the primary key field in the one table. Some people think it's easier to talk about the one table as the parent table, and the many table, in this case orders, as the child table. So one customer can have many orders. To see that in data sheet view, let's go back to our, our customers table. And for example, each one of these records is a parent record. And we hope that each one of these companies has placed several orders. The plus sign, the expand button to the left of a parent record, to the left of a one record, can be clicked to see the related records in the many table. So in this case, these records are coming from the child table, the orders table, and for bottom dollar markets, they have 14 children, they have 14 placed 14 orders through the common customer ID field that connects these two tables. So this relationship screen is the holy grail of relational database management. Once you understand this, the sky is the limit in terms of what you can accomplish with your relational database. Do not try and digest it in one sitting. It takes time to think about your one to many relationships. But always, when you open up a new database, come here. Come to the Design tab. Well, let's close this. 
come to the database tools tab, come to the relationship screen, and see the relationships window so that you know how the tables in your database are related. Thank you.